Hi there, welcome to the Future Technologies Conference here in Vancouver, Canada. With me, Chris Busales, Sacramento State. Um, to here to talk about his current research. What are you up to, Chris? Well, uh, I'm in uh, teacher education in the College of Education, and what we're dealing with mostly now is our big data analytics. All of that is certainly finding its way into, into my field. Mm -hmm. And so I've been working with dashboards uh, for a number of uh, years with a colleague and data collection, and then finding meaningful ways to analyze this data. In a nutshell, the state is requiring us to re um, do things like rate our students at, at various points uh, during their um, experience, you take the opinions of their supervisors, take the opinions of others, and then try to make sense out of it. And yeah. it's challenging because Sometimes the students will say they're doing very well at a particular um, uh, ability, uh -huh. and others are reporting that they're not, or vice versa. And it's hard to trace down the source of the error, the person, the training, the curriculum. And so we're trying to find meaningful ways to uh, make program and curricular improvements. Yeah. And, and how is this coming along? How close are you to perfection? No, <laughs> we're miles away. <laughs> yeah. um, for example, uh, we've been working with some 3D modeling to try uh -huh. to look at perceptions of students, of their self-perceptions, uh, the perceptions of their employer or their supervisor or the classroom teacher to try to see where the agreement is. If mm -hmm. the student thinks that they're not doing well and the teachers don't think that they're doing well and the um, supervisor doesn't think they're doing well, that's an yeah. easy case, yeah. as is if yeah. everybody thinks they're great. Yeah. It's that middle band where the students think they're great but they're not doing well and vice versa. So we're at the really beginning stages of finding a way to make that uh, mm -hmm. analysis work uh, for the students so that they can see, well, you think you're doing really well but no one else does, what's mm -hmm. going on? Or to look at better ways to calibrate uh, yeah. people who observe teachers. But this goes all the way up to any field, really, that has a fieldwork component, you know, mm -hmm. social work, yeah. Um, it has a fieldwork component, the principalship has a fieldwork component, mm -hmm. but this could go into any field beyond yeah. nursing, for example, etc., and business. S somewhere in the future, you will have sorted this all out. Then, then what will the good be of this? Well, I think that, you know, it's a really good question, because one thing that my colleague and I are also working on right now is to try to figure out the longevity of, of a teacher. Because really the mm -hmm. critical thing is not just good instruction, mm -hmm. that's the essential ingredient, but you also yeah. have someone who's gonna stay in the field. Yeah. So we're also trying to look at how do you identify people who are gonna stay in the field and not quit after five years or get let go after five mm -hmm. years, because this is very expensive and it's costly yeah. to children. Yeah. Uh, so if we get it right, hopefully we'll be able to have people who are going to be in the profession and doing well for years and yeah. years and our training will improve yeah. and it'll be recursive, hopefully. And in, in the long run, you are working to have better education mm -hmm. or better students? I think, uh, well, I mean, if I were really to boil it down, a better society. Okay. That's yeah. really what we're after. Yeah. And hopefully this is a small part. This is where we can make a contribution is with yeah. better educated uh, youth and uh, teachers who are highly qualified and, and are gonna stick around. Yeah. We are here at the Future Technologies Conference. Where do you think that the future technology will take us? Well, I wonder if a lot of the, you know, the things, the speeches we heard this morning, for example, about security and privacy, mm -hmm. that's a big concern of mine. Uh, in this field, for example, we are assessing children very early. Uh, they're interacting with technology more regularly and they're really kind of creating a fingerprint or a, a footprint or a personality yeah. profile yeah. very early that's going to move all the way through With their them. career yeah. and get in, into college. So um, I'm, I'm wondering how that will affect uh, our selection process of teachers. Are we going to go based on, did you post anything you shouldn't? I mean, these are really big concerns. But then yeah. there are also, I think, you know, that's the scary part. But there's really many exciting things, too. Like if we're able to really understand student engagement at mm -hmm. a fundamental level where you have wearable technology now mm -hmm. where maybe you have a class of 30 and everybody's interacting with something that can give the instructor a clue of whether they're really engaged or mm -hmm. just you know not yeah. to not to not to put you on the spot but like smiling and nodding uh -huh. I don't know if you're thinking about the next interview right uh, now or no. you know what i mean so yeah. if yeah. i could get immediate feedback about where my students are where they're engaged where i lose them where there's confusion where they're mm. bored that could improve instruction. I would not want to see something that, like that used punitively. 
Yeah, um, it's positively. You know, yeah, exactly, yeah. because yeah. you know, in many cases, students don't have a choice. Even if they're in college, they have to take this class. It's required. Yeah. And I think the third thing would be looking at personality research. There have been several presentations about oceans, mm -hmm. and maybe that plays a role in who makes a good teacher and who stays in. And yeah. I mean, you can even think, and I would take much too much more time, but I mean, in interviewing candidates for any job, they're going to give you their best self. What you're going to see later on might be what their, their true personality, yeah, right? Yeah. And so this is all through yeah. like scoring, rating, yeah. and having a s an algorithm that will actually work so you can yeah. tell people where they need to improve if you want to yeah. be a long lasting teacher, or a great administrator, or what have you, or yeah. get out now, it's never going to happen for yeah. you. Yeah. You were referring to some of the speakers here. Mm -hmm. How do you like the conference so oh, far? This is great. It's really an honor to be here, to be among, th I mean, these are the smartest individuals uh, that you're going to find. What is it that you like best about the conference? Uh, the so eclectic and as far as my field goes mm -hmm. and that I get to be included in this is very positive. Uh, also you get to learn from different um, speakers who are not in your field at all but I mean I got so many ideas from what I heard yesterday about things that I want to explore and, and just meeting people. We met some educators from Norway and, and other yeah. countries that it's just, it's phenomenal. And okay. anybody um, would be, th anybody in my field would be thrilled to be here. So I'm happy to resent, uh, represent them. Yeah, thanks. Enjoy the rest of the oh, conference. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. And you, if you would like to see more interviews like these, more videos on research, please check the website. There's a ton of information there.